guys, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be, I guess I could say kind of the first in my Instagram story time series. I told you guys in one of my recent videos it was a catfish story time. Well, I didn't tell you guys. I asked you guys because I wanted to know your input, but honestly, I was gonna do the series no matter what because I just thought it'd be really fun. If I should start telling some mini stories that have occurred with my Instagram and read Instagram comments, DMs, things like that, that would be kind of entertaining, and you guys were like, yeah. I was thinking recently, back to the start of my channel, before I had any subscribers, there was this video I did with my friend Corey called eight types of guys and one of the types of guys was the guy that slides into everyone's DMs with like the same pickup line he just copy and paste the same message to every single girl the one trick pony coincidentally on the spot we happened to go through our DMs on Instagram and we got the same message from the same dude and we were like this just happens to every girl it's so relatable let's just start reading our DMs right now on Instagram wow you are a sexy little thing you have so touchy eyes ha ha my name's blank how are you doing Guys, if you ever message me this, I will not respond. I'm sorry. Whoa. Wait, he said the same thing to me. <laughs> You literally copy and pasted. I want to share some experiences with you guys that are kind of similar to that, just random Instagram things. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. The first mini story I have for you guys, I think it's pretty funny. I was actually at Anna and Natalia's house when this happened, when they were living together. I was visiting them and Anna was like, you need to put this in a video. Like, this is pretty freaking comical. I don't know if it's funny to me because of the way that this happened or it was worded, but let me just fill you guys in. So on Instagram, I only follow people I know in real life. I don't know why, it's just a thing. If you guys have me on Twitter, you know that I follow anyone back on Twitter. Like, I'm super active with you guys, but Instagram is a place where in my feed, I want to know them personally in real life. Honestly, I don't even really follow celebrities for that reason. YouTubers I follow, that means I've met them and hung out with them and I do know them personally, besides maybe like a couple, but it's just a weird thing. I don't like looking at pictures of people I don't know. It just kind of weirds me out. So I'm scrolling through my Instagram knowing that 99% of the time, I know these people in real life if I'm seeing them, right? And this includes the Instagram stories because those are people that I follow. You know how instantly, just like Snapchat stories, you can upload stuff to Instagram. Some girl comes up at the top next to people who are live streaming by the name of Brittany Dash. I'm just gonna go ahead and say her real name because honestly, I think it was a catfish anyway. So I look at her story and it's a story of her counting money, just stacking paper, like hundreds of dollars of bills. And then after that, she had another video of her doing the same thing. And then she had another picture where it said, if you have a credit union bank account and want to make some legit money, DM me. And then it has like the little money sign emoji. And so I'm not one of those people where I see something like this and I'm like, oh my God, like get me in. I want to make some money. Like I was just honestly curious what she was talking about because I couldn't imagine how this was legal or how it made any sense. Because you know when something's too good to be true, it's probably because it's not real. You know what I mean? I've learned that the hard way in many different scenarios throughout my life. So I honestly am just a curious little kitten. I wanted to know what this girl was doing, especially because I didn't know who she was and I was following her, right? Like I mentioned earlier, I go to her profile first and foremost a couple of my best friends from high school were following her so I was like okay lit maybe she knows so and so and so and so and she only had like five pictures and one was a selfie one was a picture of like her bralette like an artsy tumbler pic it totally looked like a catfish and then the other two were her stacking paper counting money on her actual Instagram not even the story so at this point I'm thinking to myself maybe it used to be someone's account that I followed and they hacked it they took over it or someone just finessed the whole Instagram system and made people follow them because like I knew I was never following her before this so it didn't make Make any sense. I go ahead and message her and I respond to her story and I'm just like, I'm so confused. What is this about? Ha ha ha. Just because I want her to humor me. Like, I want to know what she's going to say because it's like super random, super weird. I'm following this girl who's stacking all this money. Like, hey, let me know if you want to make some money. It's legit. Let me know if you got a credit union bank. So she responds and she goes, okay, my plug can deposit into your online mobile banking. You don't need no money in your account or none to start. He don't want your money. After he deposit and the money clear, you go and send him a certain amount back through MoneyGram. And then she put the money emoji. But your account can't be brand new or it will not work. Has to be active for at least one month or more. And I said, what? That doesn't make any sense, LOL. Like, why would I be getting free money? I just wanted to know what she would say because like, that does not even sound legit at all. And then she writes back, and this is when I'm at Anna and Natalia's house, so that's why I showed them this, and it was like super funny. She's like, my bad, I just saw this. For one, just because you don't know what's going on, don't mean it don't make sense. He not just giving away free money, these are business checks that he has to pay for, and he deposits into your account, and he gonna let you keep some, simple. And I said, why would he let me keep some of it? And she goes, what do you mean, why would he let you keep some of it? He's using your account. Why are you acting slow? And she put the laughing emoji. And I wrote back and I was like, I'm not acting slow. I just don't understand how that's not sketchy or illegal. And then when I say that, she literally blocked me. Like, I'm still blocked. I can't pull up this account now. And so 
I'm showing Anna these messages and she was like, dude, that's money laundering. Like, that's so illegal, dude. It's so illegal. I knew it was illegal, but I didn't understand like how that worked. I thought, was she gonna steal my information? And so I look up money laundering, which is what Anna explained to me. It says, the process of transforming the profits of crime and corruption into legitimate assets. So basically, if there was a lot of money made illegally, they can't just deposit it all at once because the IRS, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is just my understanding, the IRS would flag it. They would like notice that. So that's why they have to deposit into other people's accounts and then have them send it back in this like weird sketch way so like people can't pick up on it but then we were also saying like okay if they're gonna send it to us how can they trust that we're gonna send it back through MoneyGram like I don't know so also they might have just been trying to steal my banking information I'm so legitimately confused but either way it was legal and she blocked me and I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's actually funny I really hope that no one actually ever falls for this because if I was a lot younger I might have but if I was a lot younger I also didn't have a bank account so I don't know just be careful because uh, stuff like this happens and that obviously looked pretty fake But some people I'm sure can make it sound a lot more legitimate future stories in this series will involve other things like this Having to do with modeling scams and the list goes on and on like there are sketchy people out there I get the sketchiest DMs I swear so that leads us into our next story Which honestly has nothing to do with that last one This is another like semi catfishing story and it's just kind of in the work still So maybe if this person happens to watch my videos, they'll see that I'm onto them So I get tagged in pictures a lot on Instagram from like fan accounts and like edits and things like that and just like friends whatever I get tagged in this picture and it's a profile by the name of something I probably shouldn't say because I mean honestly I don't care. It's Emily Heights. It's a catfish Instagram and it's three girls facing the ocean with their swimsuits on and I'm tagged as one of the girls who honestly doesn't even look like me at all even from the back and they're like fun time with my main girls and I commented I said that's not even me lol and she deleted my comment and so I'm like okay I've been through this before this person's trying to like make their catfishes look legitimate so they're tagging other people and I mean maybe she thought I wouldn't notice it because I have followers because I don't see every tagged post but I happen to see hers and then the same day I get tagged in another post which it's deleted now at least I couldn't find it I don't know maybe it's somewhere in there you guys can do your investigating if you want to and it's someone who's like following this fake account and it's a yearbook picture or like a really old picture of like a bunch of kids honestly they look like they were in middle school they looked super super young but the caption was like throwback to high school and I was tagged as like one of the girls and they looked nothing like me the girl was blonde and like I don't know, so I think they were trying to make their catfish Instagrams look more believable by tagging other people in them. And they did the same thing with like some other girl in this picture. I don't know if she's a YouTuber or a model or something. They were just like tagging people. And I mean, if you were like really dumb and you didn't watch any of the YouTubers or like know who any of the models were or something, like maybe you would look believable. Like, I don't know. It just screams fake to me, but I've been through a lot of catfishing stuff in the past. So like my red flags are up. I just think it's funny that like I get used so frequently, not only for like Tinder catfishing and stuff like that, that happens because like I'm on the internet and I have a lot of pictures but for other people's catfishing purposes I'm like a friend of this person who's a real we're all this big happy friend group on Instagram I don't know I just thought it was funny so we'll see if anything ever comes out of that if they continue to tag me and stuff or if they just give up or whatever because the other profile might have already got deleted or something because I couldn't find the tag anymore unless they just untagged me I don't know. Also, who knows like what their intentions are too. Like it just really kind of concerns me that I don't even know what these profiles are like doing, like messaging people, like saying to people and I'm like their friend on the profile. It's just so weird to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Also comment below letting me know if you want more videos in the series, more weird catfish experiences, Instagram stories, other story times, other videos. Leave requests below and I will be sure to do them. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell right next to the subscription box. I have a Patreon if you guys want exclusive access to my private snapchat extra photo shoots that I don't post anywhere else videos early etc follow my social medias I will have them on the screen for you guys and I will see you in the next video later alligators bye